Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today, the 10th of November, Holy Mother, the Church calls us to the memory of Pope Leo the Great. There are three popes in the history of the Church who are called Great. Pope Leo the Great in the 5th century, and then Pope Gregory the Great in the 6th century, and then Pope uh, Nicholas the Great in the 9th century. There are some sections who also would like to call Pope John Paul II the Great. Now, uh, Pope Leo the Great, uh, he was born in a time when the church was going through a lot of difficulty and a uh, lot of disturbance, especially due to the disintegration of the West and the East. There were a lot of controversial uh, discussions and controversial disturbances in the church. At that time, this Pope in 440 AD got into the shoes of Peter, sat on the chair of Peter and became the Bishop of Rome and the Pope. The first thing that he did is he tried to correct these heresies. He was really strict and stringent in the matters of the law, in the matters of faith. Uh, in the 461 AD when the Council of Chalcedon was held, 600 bishops uh, were present. It was he who proclaimed uh, against the monophysitism, the heresy, which claimed that Jesus had only one nature, but the truth is that Jesus was fully human and fully divine. Later, uh, when in France, in Gaul, where they were erecting the church, and there was a controversy regarding the primacy of Rome, it was again the same Pope Leo who stood strong, stood strong uh, on the basis of uh, the primacy of Rome. And then uh, it was the time of this Pope that Attila, Attila the invader, invaded Rome. It was one of the most darkest period of Rome when for two weeks he attacked the people and killed, plundered. But if, if Pope Leo wouldn't have been there, things would have been much more worse because it was this daring Pope, this courageous Pope who went against this invader defending the church. He was truly a father of his people, a father in truth. Today as we celebrate Pope Leo, the courageous Pope, the loving Pope, the daring Pope. We ask the Lord for the grace of courage, strength, strength of faith, so that we may stand strong in the face of persecution, in the face of opposition, and give our best to the kingdom of God. Amen.